What's going on everybody? As always, it's a blessing to be here and welcome to UL Exchange. If you guys are new to this channel, you know what to do. Give it a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel and hit the bell notification so you can be notified every single time I drop information pack videos just like the one you're watching right now. And today's topic, I was going to do a, a video I will release that video tomorrow, by the way, just keeping you guys updated, which is going to be the mathematical formula why I believe XRP is supposed to go to minimum five digits or even minimum $100 for it to function. But I'll get into all the math tomorrow. I'm just making the short clip video just to keep everyone on the XRP army steady, focused and staying strong and staying in the same mindset that we were before. We don't want to be bag holders that are just selling our bags and then disappearing. And then two months later, one, six months later, one year later, we lose out on all the gains that we could have had to make a huge impact on every single person in our life, including ourselves. That means your family members, your close friends, and so on and so forth. But I'm, at the same time, guys, I'm not a financial advisor. You make the final decision. I just present you guys with the truth and the facts. You behind the screen. Yes, you make the final decision. But keep giving it a thumbs up for this video to go and beat all the YouTube algorithm and make people stay focused and stay motivated holding the bags. At the end of the day, guys, not everyone will hold the bags to the long extreme, like the five digits that we're all expecting to. And I'll also make another video on how much XRP is truly enough. At the end of the day, you make the five decision guys but i want to make this a short clip to just motivate every single person we know the xrp the standard and the end game is coming very very soon and i want everyone that's already holding a bag to just stay vigilant in these markets so many flutters going around telling y'all sell your xrp bags i mean hey if you have another bag that you want to drop into some other coins why not because they're probably prone to pop off before xrp and that's just my belief but at the same time, don't sell your main back. So I want you guys to stay on the same track that you were when you first made your XRP purchase. I want you be, to still be in the same mindset because a lot of things going on in the crypto industry with all this tracking going on, with all this dropping of prices, with the tether fall that I mentioned a long time ago, guys, that would literally be the downfall for crypto and the new wave starting up for it to pump back up. But we need a black swan event for that truly to occur. So please, please, please do your due diligence, pay attention, and just stay focused, guys. Don't let nothing drift you. If you want some motivation or anything like that, entertainment, woo, pull up to my channel. You get entertained, you get some motivation as well, and I'll keep, I'll do my best to keep the XRP community and everyone on this channel on the same track and the same mindset that we were, we or we still had once before. I want us to be in the same mindset because when you made your first XRP purchase, you were so happy. You were saying, hey, I'm finally so excited to make my XRP purchase. I'm happy to make this purchase because I can still make the purchase. So many other exchanges blocked you from making purchases, especially if you live in the United States. So if you have purchased XRP, I'm not saying you can't sell it. You make a fine decision, guys. I'm not a financial advisor. But if you have purchased your XRP, stay in the moment of when you first purchased your XRP. All that happiness you got. All that knowing the facts of where this coin is truly potential and where it is supposed to be headed. And that's the mindset we should all stay on throughout the course, throughout the ups, throughout the downs. Even the huge down when it got sued by SEC. Price dropped to 20 cents. And I was the one trying to push the price up because I was scooping it up, guys. 20 cents is a good price. 30 cents is a good price. But we really don't want to purchase them around 30 cents to all the way to a dollar because we're like, we've been staggering for so long that those specific time or those specific prices make us feel like it's not even worth it. But we know the end game. But the longer, longest time they've been holding us down to struggle, guys, that's how they want you to be suppressed. That's the same thing that happens to the price suppression. It's what happens to a human suppression. It's a mindset. It's a programming, guys. You see it on the same levels at 35 to 45 cents. And then you're like, man, it's been here for so long. It's not even worth buying it. It's so, it's like, is it even going to a dollar? And you get in the mindset of questioning yourself. Like, is it really going to a dollar? Should I sell now? No, don't sell. That's what I keep telling myself. Now, see, I'm just here to tell you guys the same thing as well. Always stay smart. And if you're watching too many FUDs, just turn off your phone, man. You don't need to be plugged into the cryptocurrency 
market to the XRP community 24 seven, because there will be some things that you see and that will distract you from your end goal as the main reason we purchase this token. All the ISO 222 tokens, all the ISO compliant 220, 222 tokens, we know what the end game is guys, specifically XRP. We know where Algorand is headed. We know where Hedera is headed. We know where IOTA is headed. We know where um, XDC is headed. We know where XLM is headed. We know where XRP is headed. So many crypto guys, please, please, please pay attention. Stay on the course. Let us walk this walk together, holding the bags. We will never burn, but always stay vigilant. Again, if you're like anticipating or if you have questions like, oh, I do have another bag that I want to drop into other cryptocurrencies. If I was in that position, I would just drop it into other cryptocurrencies. If you have, if you are satisfied with what you have in XRP, because if XRP takes longer time in the other coins moon, you don't want to just be holding on to a thousand XRP when you could have made $10,000, $100,000 and then dumped it back into XRP. And then just thinking like, wow, I could have just made money off Dogecoin. I could have made money off Shiba Inu or blah, 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 any other cryptocurrencies. So if you do have a bag, you know, just throw it, toss it around into different cryptocurrencies, some dog coins, and just see where it could be headed but if you're fully just adamant about not selling your xrp or if you don't have any other money just relax relax the time will come it may just make us be more patient than we are already just relax though we know where it's headed guys i just want to make this a short video i want us to be in the same goal and mindset as the same day we purchased xrp for the first time i love y'all i'm you all exchange i appreciate you guys for tuning into the, the, this video and this channel guys we're growing so fast keep giving it a thumbs up so it can spread to everybody else subscribe to this channel again if you enjoy the content just stay strong i'll see you in the next video love peace out